Hello, this is Radiant Research, and today I'm going to be performing a CT ratio and burden test using the TX Auditor. So first, I need to make my connections for my TX Auditor. I'm going to connect my phase A of the service, and this service is a four-wire, uh, three-phase service. Okay. I'm going to connect my current signal first for my second area of my CT, and to do that, I'm going to shunt the CT. Okay. Then I'm going to open the test switch. I'm going to stall and install the test switch. Okay, and then unshunt the CT. I'm going to make my voltage connection to phase A. And then I'm going to make my current connection for my primary. And today I'm using the SR704 clamp. Okay, like so. Be sure to be aware of the current flow going from the service to the load. Okay. Now I have my secondary current measurement, I have my voltage measurement, and my primary current measurement. I can perform a CT ratio test or a CT ratio with burden test. Okay. Right now I have the 0.1 ohm, the 0.2 ohm, and the 0.5 ohm enabled. Okay. I have my ratio set to 200 to 5, that's the CTs I'm testing today. And when I want to perform burden with CT ratio, I have these turned on and simply select the CT ratio button. With that, I'm actually going to get a burden test and a CT ratio test at the same time. And what I'll have is I'll have the readout. So my reference at 0 ohms was 0.1 amps. Um, I have 0% change for burden. And my primary current was 4 amps, 4.07 amps. And my calculated ratio was 201 to 5. And my ratio error in respect to 200 to 5 as my setting was 0.52%. And then I have very little phase error. And then at 0.1 ohm burden, I have 0.1 amps on the, primary, on the secondary of the CT. I, did, I had a 0.17% change when I added in the burden resistance. My primary current was still 4.07, and my ratio is still 201 to 5. And then I have a slightly higher ratio error because of the burden. Okay. And then I can report the ratio error at 0.2 ohm burden, and then report the ratio at 0.5 ohm burden. Now this particular CT had a 0.5 ohm burden rating, and although that the, my error tolerance is it creeped up higher than my uh, tolerance percentage, that just goes to say that I had a little more than uh, uh, zero resistance in the secondary loop of that CT. So let's go ahead and save these results. Okay, I'm going to select save. The phase ID is phase one or phase A that I have selected here. My phase reference is zero. Okay, and I'm going to select um, my uh, serial number and I'm just select four A. So A A A A. Okay. Model number, I can enter the model information. I can enter the accuracy class. So let's say the accuracy class of the CT is a 0.3%. The rated burden is 0.5 ohm. And the rating factor, we'll just leave that at 1. And the site today is the, the test lab. Okay, then I simply select save. Okay. Now that record will be in uh, my database, and to see that, I can go to Review Results. I can drop down that and select the phase that I'm interested in. You know, this one is AAAA for the serial ID. I do have a, a date and time code if I have multiple results. This one only has one result in it. Okay, but I can see that I have a capture of the secondary voltage, a capture of the secondary current, my phase, my power factor, a capture for watts and vars, a capture for total, total harmonic distortion for my voltage and my current, and my emittance signal. I did, not say, I did not perform an emittance test on this, and it did not save anything. Okay. But if I was interested in other performance spots other than 0.1 ohms, I can drop down my selection, select the, the burden resistance that I'm interested in, and it'll see my results. So at 0.1 ohms, I had 0.1 amps of uh, current without the burden. 
and 0.1 amps of current with the burden, and I had a 0.17% change that was induced by the 0.1 ohm burden. Okay, and I show my primary current being 4 amps, my secondary being 0.1 amps, and then my ratio correction factor uh, in comparison to the 200 to 5 was 100, sorry, was 1.006843. Okay, and the ratio is 0.68%. Okay, so let's proceed and let's go to phase two. Okay, so I'm going to need to go ahead and move my connectors to phase two. So first, let's move our current. So I'm going to shunt the CT, remove my test switch, close my test switch, unshunt the CT. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the B phase or phase two. I'm going to shunt the CT, open up the test switch, install my test switch probe, okay, and then unshunt the CT. And then I also need to move the voltage. So I'm going to move my voltage to the B phase, so unconnect it there and connect it there. Okay. Finally, I need to go ahead and move the primary current sensor, the SR704. So I want to disconnect it from the A phase and connect it to the B phase. Okay, so now I have all my connectors ready. I can return to my TX auditor screen and I can perform the same test. And I don't have to change any of my settings, I just simply need to select CT ratio. Okay. This particular phase had 0.17 amps, almost 0.18 amps on the secondary. Okay. And now that my results are ready, at 0.1 ohm burden, I had 0.18 amps uh, of current with burden and 0.18 amps of current without the burden. I had a 0.11% change when I, at 0.1 ohms. Okay. The primary current had 7.19 amps, and my ratio, calculated ratio, was 201 to 5 at 0.1 ohm burden, and I had a 0.34% actual error in relationship to the, my settings of 200 to 5, and everybody is happy here. So we're going to go ahead and save these results also. So I select Save. Okay, this is the second phase, so I'll make sure we change our phase ID. I'm going to label this one with four Bs, one, two, three, four. Select OK. All the other information is good. I'm going to select Save. Okay. Let's proceed to the third phase. Okay. So first let's change our current. So I'm going to shunt the CT, remove the test switch probe, close the test switch, and then unshunt the CT. And again, we're going to the third phase, or phase C. So I'm going to shunt the CT, open up the test switch, insert my test switch probe, and then unshunt the CT. Okay, and then I need to move my voltage to my third phase. Okay, and then I need to move my primary current sensor to my phase C. So just connect it here, connect it here. It's always good to make sure that your test switch um, is unshunted and that your current probe is fully closed to measure the proper current. Okay, so let's return back to our TX Auditor screen. Now all our settings are still the same, nothing's changed, but I can see that I have 121.9 volts on the third phase. And then I have 0 0.105 amps in the secondary, and uh, I have 31 degrees phase, or negative 31 degrees phase, and 0.86 power factor. But all my settings are the same, I can simply select the CT ratio test, so I can perform the same test. Okay, now we have our results. Okay, this particular one had 4.2 amps on the primary. Our, uh, our ratio is uh, being calculated at 202 to 5. Um, that's only 0.78% uh, of error at 0.1 ohms, um, but I have 0.93% at 0.2 ohms, and then 1.39% at 0.5 ohms. Okay, I can save these results. 
Okay. Again, it's phase ID is 3. I'm going to label this serial number as, as 4 C's, just for a reference. Typically, I see a lot of people use the meter ID uh, serial number and then a phase reference at the end. But the accuracy class, the rate of burden, everything's the same, and the, light, the site location is the same also. I'm going to select Save. Okay. And if I would like to review any of these results, I can select from my drop-down the phase that I'd like to review. So if I want to see the, the 4B phase, uh, I can if you have any further questions, please visit us at ratingresearch.com.